YouTube. It is your boy Q Souls, and I am back with another video for you guys. As you can see, we are outside. Today is a beautiful day, so I decided we are going to Cool Kicks in Virginia. A lot of people know what Cool Kicks is. The famous store down in, uh, up in LA, whatever, on Melrose Street. Everybody knows about that, but a lot of people do not know they have a location in Virginia. Two of their three owners are originally from Virginia, so they have a storefront here, and that is the store we're gonna go to today. Maybe I'll pick up some kicks. My friend Aaron is really gonna bless me today, so I appreciate him. He is the silence behind the violence of the camera. So make sure you guys go follow him, show him some love, he's a great person. I will leave his Instagram link down in the description, so make sure y'all go follow him. But it is a tad chilly out here, so we're gonna get in the car and go ahead. Make sure to drop a like on this video early, and if you are new to this channel, hit that subscribe button, ding the bell, but anyway, let's go ahead and get out of here. Before we go, real quick, I gotta get a quick outfit check. As you can see, the shirt, Burke Imperial. Pants over here, I got the swig pants on, shorts on as always. And on the feet today, I decided to break out the UNC 3s. Some light, some simple. But yeah, that's the outfit for today. If you would like anything that I have on, I will leave all the links in the description of where you can find everything. But yeah, now let's go. We are back at the crib now. Just got back home from Cool Cakes in VA. Now, if you guys do not know, that Cool Cakes location in Virginia was the first and original Cool Cakes, as two of the three owners, like I said in the beginning of the video, are originally from VA and opened that storefront first. Although the one in LA is more famous because, you know, more people, more money, more. Yeah, you get it, you know. Anyway, I am back at the crib. It was like a three hour drive both ways there and back. And I'm super tired, I'm not gonna lie. Like, whew, it was a long day, but I really did enjoy this day. My schedules be hectic during the week, so this was a really good day to just get away and go do something that I enjoy. But anyway, what y'all probably wondering is, did your boy pick something up? And yes, sir, I did. You see that? That brown bag with the cool kicks on the front? You already know, man. I had to get something. It was just there. Like, why would I go to a store like that and not get something? Especially it was my first time. I got to make it memorable. I'm even going to keep this brown bag. I don't know where I'm going to put it at, but I'm going to keep the brown bag because I do have plans of going to the L.A. store this summer. Hopefully, I don't know, with Corona and all that stuff, hopefully I can, you know, make it out there. But I do have plans of going there, so I'm going to keep this one. And hopefully when I go to L.A., I'm going to keep that one too. Just souvenirs. But anyway, I did pick something up. 
You see that red box? So y'all probably instantly already know what it is, especially with all the hype right now. Y'all know what it is. You see that size tag there, size seven and a half. I hope you guys can see it right now. My camera's picking it up. If not, I'll just throw a picture on the screen. But anyway, let's just open these things. I will have a full review on this shoe this Wednesday. Majority of the people right now watching this video, it is Monday. So I will have it one day after this video. So yeah, that's two confirmed videos this week. And I may have a video this Friday too of a pair that's coming in. Hopefully, Corona be tripping with the shipping. So it says expected Friday, but I don't know. So we'll see. But anyway, just stay tuned. So I'm gonna give y'all this little sneak peek here. I'm gonna just give y'all the bottom because I'm going through the whole review on Wednesday. Maybe I look, yeah, I seen that little flash. I seen that. Y'all probably already know what the shoe is, to be honest. It is an SB dunk, so comment down below what you think the shoe is. I gave you basically what it was, so I'm pretty sure all you guys are gonna comment the correct answer. But still, I will have that review Wednesday, like I said. Um, but just a little bit about my experience there. It was very fun. I spent like an hour and 45 minutes in the store from the B-roll. It doesn't seem like the store is big, which it isn't, but it's a lot of stuff in there. A whole bunch of shoes. They didn't have a lot in my size, unfortunately, because the majority of the people that do go to resale stores are in the men's sizes, whether that's women or men, they do majority of the time wear the men's sizes. So grade school selection was very slim. That's why I had to go with this seven and a half because it was the only size they had that was close to my size and it fit. So I was like, hey, gotta pull the trigger, I guess. But anyway, I did pay a little pretty penny for it because the dunk craze is weird right now. I mean, everybody like dunks, so the prices are stupid high. But I did have an extra change left over after sorting all my bills out. So I was like, cool, I might as well just go with these right here. It's all they got in my size. There was a pair of Air Jordan 1s, I think I showed you guys in the B-roll, but I was like, nah, I feel like those prices are going to go down on that shoe, so I just waited real quick. Maybe I can go back and get them. I do like that shoe, but I feel like the prices will go down, so I'll go back and get them later on down the road. But anyway, like I said, the experience was super dope, super fun. If you're ever in VA around the D.C., Springfield, Virginia area, just make sure you help head in the Cool Kicks. The staff there is extremely laid back. The vibe is like laid back. Like when I walked in there, they was just chilling on the little chair thing. Just, what's up, guy? Like, they weren't in your face like, do we need this? Can I need, like, none of that. It was just chill. Like, you do your own thing. Look at your own shoes. Look at the apparel. Just look through and just have a time and just vibe, man. I felt like, I don't know. I just had a lot of fun in that store. And I think people that go to the store can also agree with me. So if you do have a chance to either go to the one in L.A., although I haven't been there, I heard, seen hella videos about it, so I know it's chill over there. And then this one in VA is super chill. So just make sure you go to at least one of the cool kick store in your lifetime. But I am sorry that this video is kind of short because I did record myself like going through the shoes, going through the apparel, talking about the store a little bit. But one thing I forgot is all shoe stores play music in the background. And they were blasting. Not blasting, but like there was, you know, so like you can just walk around singing the music. That's how it was. Like it was just upbeat and stuff. Like you could definitely hear it in the camera. So when I did upload it on YouTube, I had to cut it out. I instantly got a copyright strike. And although I do not monetize yet, I don't need copyright strikes on my videos right now. So I had to cut all that out. That was like six minutes worth of video. All of that trash. So I'm here doing it right here. So yeah, I did pick up something. I'm happy with what I got. I'm happy with the video. I'm happy with my experience there. Definitely check it out if you can. But that's gonna wrap up this video. And you know before we leave, we gotta end off with a quote. Actually, before we leave, I need you to drop a like on this video because it's just the right thing to do, bro. Like, I'm just trying to grow one, one view at a time, one like at a time, one sub at a time. So if you could, just drop a like on this video. It'll help me out a lot to helping this channel grow. Also, if you are new and tuning in for the first time, hit that subscribe button, ding the bell to get notified for when I have videos dropping consistently. Like I said, I have a video dropping Wednesday and maybe Friday. So definitely, you want to be the first one to get notified about those dropping. Now!
before I let you guys go, we got to end off with a quote. And today's quote is, you cannot change the past. You can only make decisions today to help how your future turns out. And what that basically means is, the past is the past. It's called that for a reason. There's no need to hold on to it. There's no need to let that dictate what you're going to do in the future. So make sure you ditch the past, regardless of how much it hurts, how much it was or whatever. Just don't let it dictate how your future is going to go. Every day is a new day and every tomorrow is another opportunity for you to do something greater. And as always, aim high, spread love. I'm out.